Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my Friday message. My special guest this week is Rafael Valdivia. Dr. Valdivia is the Nanolin Duke Distinguished Professor of Molecular Genetics and Microbiology and the Chair of the Department of Integrative Immunobiology. Until last week, that department was known as the Department of Immunology. Dr. Valdivia will tell us about the rationale behind the name change and how it reflects his vision and direction. But before we talk with Rafael, I'd like to share a few updates. In light of the recent recommendation by the CDC of a second bivalent booster for those over 65 or immunocompromised, Duke is offering appointments for bivalent COVID-19 booster vaccines to those eligible at no cost in the Duke Medical Pavilion on Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Last night, a new cohort of distinguished professors was announced, and I'm so proud to say that 28 of them are from the School of Medicine faculty, representing 13 of our basic and clinical departments. These prestigious titles are well-deserved, and on behalf of the entire School of Medicine, I want to offer my heartfelt congratulations. Congratulations also to the new School of Medicine faculty elected to the American Society for Clinical Investigation and the Association for American Physicians. Next week is National Nurses Week, and I want to celebrate and thank the nurses who provide such extraordinary care every day. The clinical nurses within the Duke University Health System are exceptionally skilled and compassionate frontline providers, and the Duke University School of Nursing is among the very best in the nation. We at the School of Medicine are proud to be partners with them in all four of our missions, educating the next generation of healthcare leaders, conducting innovative research, providing state-of-the-art clinical care, and advancing healthcare within our communities. Dean Ramos and the faculty, staff, and students have much to celebrate, and we applaud your exceptional work. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and I want to recognize and celebrate the remarkable contributions made to the School of Medicine by AAPI faculty, staff, and students. The AAPI community enriches our culture and helps make Duke University School of Medicine the vital, energetic, and essential place that it is. As we celebrate our AAPI colleagues, we also recommit ourselves to the ongoing work of ensuring that equity, diversity, and inclusion are living ideals at Duke. And now please join me in a conversation with Rafael Valdivia. Rafael, thanks for coming in and talk to me today. You're not only a new chair, but you're a new chair of a newly renamed department going from Department of Immunology to the Department of Integrative Immunobiology. So why was that important? Oh, I think it is, uh, we're at a moment in which immunology is going through a renaissance. Yeah. Uh, so how the immune system touches all other disciplines from microbiology to developmental biology to neurosciences. Uh, we felt that there was a need to expand what immunology meant and have this broader umbrella of immunobiology to reflect that. So that has implications outside of the basic science departments. What, what should other departments think and know about this change? Yeah, of course. In fact, uh, we do should have uh, closer contacts with the clinical departments and the basic science programs in there because at the end of the day, most diseases have an immune component to it. So we have the immune system or inflammation, uh, they influence how disease progresses. And so we're looking to strengthen those, um, those, uh, those contacts. So Rafael, can you speak more broadly about what you see as immunobiology at Duke? I think there's two components to it. Uh, one of them is the type of science that we do. Uh, there's a broader context and disciplines that get touched by immunology and it, so that it becomes immunobiology. But also the next, the type of faculty that we're going to try to bring to tackle those, those issues. Uh, this integration, greater integration within the clinical sciences and the basic sciences should have a, a new type of faculty who can take everything from discovery uh, to translation. So what excites you about leading this department at Duke? The opportunities. Um, I think that the kind of observations that happens in the clinics can help drive a lot of the basic science questions we should be asking. Uh, sometimes we get very focused on our model systems and we neglect to see the broader picture of what is happening in, in our clinics. And so the physicians that can tell us uh, this is an interesting question that you should be looking at is what, really what should be driving the type of work we do. Well, this is an exciting time for immunobiology at Duke and thank you for taking the lead. And thanks to everyone. Have a great weekend.